my name is Sophia Chowdhury. I am the founder of Ruddy Box. I am mum of two. I live in the south, but I'm originally a northern girl. I've been in corporate for over 20 years before I started my journey as an entrepreneur. My biggest struggle during my Ruddy Box journey was definitely at the beginning. From writing the initial brief to actually having a product ready to sell took me four years and that's not because I took my foot off the gas it's because everything that could go wrong did go wrong I was initially told that my design phase was going to take three days it took 18 months my biggest challenge was understanding that being an entrepreneur means being ready for the next problem my story actually starts over 40 years ago when my mom came to this country and she was in a family of 12 people and she was making roti for the whole family morning, noon and night and it was up to 12 rotis. The mess that came with making roti was driving her crazy so she asked her husband if he could help and that's when my dad made a wooden box which we now refer to as roti box and that wooden box basically was passed down to, to all the family. Everybody used this to make roti and it's because it eliminated the mess. There was no mess. After you made the roti, you closed the box and that was it. When I left home, my dad made me a wooden box and I always had a thought that, you know, I wonder if this could be a business. I wonder if, you know, this has solved a problem for me and my family. Could it help others out there? So I always had this thought, but I never did anything with it. I had to go through my own personal journey because I wasn't in a, in a very inspiring mindset. You know, I had a bit of a negative upbringing. I didn't really believe in myself. I certainly didn't have any confidence. So, you know, through a friend, I got introduced to personal development. And that's when things started to change. That's when my mindset changed. I started to think much more positively. I started believing in myself. Instead of thinking, what if it doesn't work? I started thinking, well, what if it does work? So everything changed for me. The environment that I was in, the people that I talked to, the videos that I watched, I did courses, I read books. So I completely changed and then I felt ready about that idea that I'd had for such a long time to take it to the next level. So that's when I basically thought it's time to turn this dream into a business. My success mantra is very simple. Don't give up. There's a quote that I had on my wall when I was going through my toughest uh, parts of my journey which was God would not have put a dream in your heart without a reason so every time I felt like giving up I felt like things weren't working out I would always remind myself of that of I've got a dream and I just felt like God wouldn't have given me the idea of the dream if it wasn't for a reason and for for that I would keep going no matter what. I felt like it was a test to see how badly did I want it. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there. Anything negative in your mind, you've got to get rid of those negative thoughts. You've got to be solid in your thinking, in your dream, and just don't let anything divert you from that path. Just be strong with your vision and just keep taking one step at a time, keep moving forward and just keep aiming for your dream and don't let anything, anyone, any negative thought, any negativity at all stop you. Just stay focused on the end goal and just take one step at a time. My inspiration in all honesty was just to help and support other South Asians who are making this food. My biggest support system was 100% my husband. 
In the early days, when I was new to being an entrepreneur, I'm not afraid to admit that I had a lot of wobbles. I think it was on a daily basis. I think the phrase that I said the most was, what if nobody buys it? What if I make a fool of myself? Am I humiliating myself? And my husband, bless him, would continuously reassure me and say, it's all gonna be fine. No, you know, you are gonna sell it. You're solving a problem, it's all gonna be okay. So I could not have done this without my husband. My brother was also very supportive. And uh, my mother surprised me when I told her I was gonna do this. She said to me, well, you'll never know until you try. So I've had good family support backing me up. It has to be problem solver my husband. Casual, smart. I wish that I could say sleep. I'm gonna have to say makeup because when I look good, I feel good and I get the best results. Tea, green tea every time. Movie night. It's gotta be my phone. Hun. To reach new horizons, one must first leave the shore. Husband hasn't cooked since I've been married to him. I haven't got a clue, so I've got to say me. Binge eating when I'm watching a movie. Anywhere sunny and warm. Well, I'm known as a roti queen, so I'm gonna have to say roti, but it is roti. Hashtag dare to be different hashtag determined hashtag nothing without god i am so honored to be the first trailblazer of celestia